Now we're going to create a progress bar and inside layout we're going to create our element which is sg.progressbar progress bar and it needs some parameters first one is max value let's set it to a thousand it needs also orientation let's do it horizontally it needs the size of course we can leave it without the size but let's specify the size 20 and 10 or you know let's do it 30 and 15 and the last one is the key let's say just prog for progress bar okay and now we need to create a for loop so for i and range we're going to do the same as max value which is 1000 then i'm going to indent these we're going to update before updating this which should be inside and we should add the time timeout is very important and set it to one and here we're going to update our progress bar so window to access our progress bar we're going to use the key prog and for update there is a special function for it called update update bar and we're going to do s plus one incrementing it by one okay let's see if it works as you can see once it finishes it breaks this line will close the window automatically for us and that's how we create a progress bar now we are going to create a column so now we have two columns this is column one we created a text or label and then input and here a button called it submit and inside the second column we created four checkboxes and to create that column there is an element called call for column and then here we need to specify the column name column one comma sg sg.call and then column two let's run our code as you can see we have two columns this is column one and this one is column two and let's add a vertical uh, separator between them here we can do sg dot vertical separator and we will reduce the input this one is too long so comma size is equal to 30 and 4 so just to be a little bit smaller ah, not comma yeah okay as you can see this one is the separator we want also to solve this problem of alignment you can see we want a vertical alignment to do that we will add the size and the checkbox here so comma size i'm gonna say 30 and 4 oh it's too much so it is too much okay let's do seven okay much better yeah now it's aligned vertically and now let's do tabs let's change those variables into tabs to not confuse you tab and here we're gonna change this line for creating a tab there is an element called tab group and inside it we should have a 2d list the first tab, the tab that we are going to create is here. So I'm going to do sg.tab. This is the element. And then we're going to call our tab. Let's call it, for example, tab1. Inside the tab element, write tab1 and then comma. Let's do another element, tab. And let's call it tab2 and then comma tab2. Okay, let's try and run it. As you can see, we have two tabs now. And that's how we create tabs. Of course, this tab has parameters. Everything has parameters. We can change a, the colors of tabs, the colors of, of the label, of the highlighting, and so on. Now we're going to create radio buttons. We're going to create two for gender, male and female. So sg dot radio and to mail. There is a parameter called group ID. Group ID and set it to one. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one. Group ID is going to stay the same and change the text female. 
you know, let's add a two buttons for OK and cancel. Let's run our code. Now we have male and female. Press OK. We got zero, which is true, and one for female is false. Okay, we're going to add a label here. Let's call it, it's a, a label, so let's call it gender. And here we're going to add a slider for the age. So we're going to first start with the label and then, so here age, sg.slider. First parameter is going to be the range. So the range is going to be from one to 100. And a second parameter is the orientation. Orientation, I'm gonna say horizontal. And right, let's run our code. Let's put a comma here. Run our code, as you can see. And we also need a key here. And as you saw, it started by zero. So we can add a default value. Let's say default value is 20. Let's run our code. As you can see, it started by 20. Press OK, get age 84. Okay, let's continue adding this pin. Let's add it here. So the element is called sg.spin and it needs a list. So value is equal to, I'm gonna add a range here. You can add the list outside of this layout. List range from one to 10. Okay, let's run it before I write, let's add a comma here. As you can see, but this pin is small. I'm gonna modify the size. Size, let's do seven, four. Run it, uh, okay, it's much better now. Now you, you saw it starts by one, but what if you want to start by five as an example? So there is a parameter called initial value. Initial value, it's right five. And as you can see, it starts from five. And when you press okay, you get the, okay, we didn't specify the, the key, which is, let's specify a key. So key, spin. Let's choose any value here, 7 for example, press OK, we get spin 7. Amazing. Now we're going to make status bar. Let's add it here at the beginning. The element is called status bar. Status bar. And write a message here, for example, welcome to my app. Let's run the code. As you can see, the status bar is here. Welcome to my app. 